Hello everybody, welcome back to Clonade episode 10! Clonade after story. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting close to uh, a point. So, yesterday we had a bit of a thing <laughs> happening, which was very emotional and it got me thinking a little bit about the possibilities for the future episodes, especially concerning Nagisa. Now, I am worried about what is happening with her? I don't know what is. Oh, why is my audio so loud? There it is. <clears throat> yeah, Nagisa, I don't know what's happening. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. So, let's not make a prediction about that. I don't want that. Anyway, let's continue with a video. And go! <laughs> Is this, is this like referencing Nagisa, the robot, because she's so fragile, and the girl is Tomoya? Because during the winter she was sick? Maybe. Oh, that might be it, actually. Because it's not something she can do anything about. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to be more sick on sc in school. <laughs> Damn. He's a hard worker. Yeah, she's just a fucking the placement. <laughs> Don't do anything else, just clean the area. Where you going to school? Give her a good luck kiss, please. Get in. That's for sure. Oh, good for you. Oh, that's awesome. 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 Hmm. That is suspicious. <laughs> and here we go again. Oh no. Is it even bread? It's just something that's not bread. The slime. Nagisa <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. あ、ノー、だ、もうさっと。俺が頑張れということ。なぎさを追い込んでいるのかもしれない。オーナギーさ。そう思った。だけどなぎさ、1日も遅刻したり欠席したりしなかった。ただ、あ、リシーハスフレ
Finally, some more info about Fuko. Hello. What are you guys doing? Oh, yeah, you two are going to school. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he was looking for apartments, so at least he's trying. うん。あの、お友達のお兄さんがもうすぐ今のアパートを出るんです。建物は古いらしいですけど、家賃がすごく安いって言ってました。あ。吉野さん。俺を吉野さんってください。<笑> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> well, you tried something at least. Did it work? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> they probably wanted you around longer because they could do more shit. Yeah, I was about to say, thank you so much. You really shaped him up to be something else. Taking a while to answer for this one. That is true. And a good answer. <laughs> Are you moving? Haha. <laughs> Hell yeah. Basically, we got a fucking outside space area. Dude, this looks sweet. I live here. Hell yeah. Let's bring up to my old apartment and I paid more for that than this. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, uh, so you're not living with him. With him. <laughs> Cute. Cutie. Dango, dango. dango, dango. <laughs> <laughs> it's daydreaming. Oh, yeah, this subject. So <laughs> How have you even talked to him at all? Oh, she came to check up on your morning. Oh. Did, don't tell me you skipped school to just make breakfast for the guy. <laughs> Why don't you just live here? It's just different in Japan. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Mr. Electric. No, I say he's doing a good job of actually acting like a proper adult compared to what he was back in season one. It is incredible how much he's changed. This is reminding me of my first like proper work outside of school. I did something similar like this, but we didn't climb. <laughs> we didn't climb poles. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, good job. Yeah, you gotta go get that now. It's very good if you learn the ropes immediately instead of doing the same mistakes all over again. Yeah. Four more. Yeah, so. <laughs> he's just exhausted. Oh, he's so tired. Oh, he's trying, the poor guy. Oh, no. Damn. But he's trying, okay? I know exactly what he's feeling right now. Because honestly, I was in a similar situation when I had a, a relationship. I can really relate to this because coming home, you're so tired, but you want to like be there for them and whatever. And then you literally fall asleep while they're talking about their, their fucking life. It sucks. But if, if you've been in a similar situation, you probably understand. It's not that easy. Anyway, that was uh, conflicting. Th there's so much good stuff happening for Tomoya, but there's so much not good stuff happening for Nagisa. And I want to feel happy for Tomoya because he's he's doing a good job in furthering his adulthood. He, he's doing a really good job. He's taking some really big steps. But then again, the opposite of the world, Nagisa. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that Tomoya was the one who was going to get out of the slummer before Nagisa? Then again, I can't help but feel bad about Nagisa. Because this, this shit honestly sucks. Um, yeah. Anyway, I guess we'll see what um, what more comes of this next time. I want Tomia and Nagisa to live together. I want Nagisa to be healthy. She seems like this thing only comes in the winter. So I'm assuming that this... Fu um, sorry, I'm just, why would I want to swear there? Never mind, my, my vulgar, vulgar shit doesn't count. <clears throat> the the bear, the mechanized bear, I assume is referring to Nagisa, since it's, it, it's um, they keep saying it'll it'll freeze up during the winter, and it can't do anything about it, and it seems like Nagisa only has this thing during the winter, at least from what I can put together. So yeah, um, bit of a bit of a the theory here, but you know. Gotta theorize sometimes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Oh God, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you for episode eleven whenever that comes around. So take care, everybody. Bye bye. Peace out.